The United States of America was created on July 4, 1776, with the Declaration of Independence of thirteen British colonies. Their independence was recognized by Great Britain with the Treaty of Paris of 1783, following the American Revolutionary War. This effectively doubled the size of the colonies, now able to stretch west past the Proclamation Line to the Mississippi River. This land was organized into territories and then states, though there remained some conflict with the sea-to-sea -sea grants claimed by some of the original colonies. In time, these grants were ceded to the federal government. The first great expansion of the country came with the Louisiana Purchase of 1803, which doubled the country's territory, but brought it into minor conflict with the colonies of Spain which eventually resulted in the acquisition of Spanish Florida. The Oregon country gave the United States access to the Pacific Ocean, though it was shared for a time with the United Kingdom. The annexation of the Republic of Texas in 1845 led directly to the Mexican-American War, after which the victorious United States obtained the northern half of Mexico's territory, including what was quickly made the state of California. However, as the development of the country moved west, the question of slavery became too much to ignore, as there was a struggle to keep the number of northern abolitionist states equal to the number of southern slave states, with vigorous debate over whether the new territories would allow slavery and events such as the Missouri Compromise and Bleeding Kansas. This came to a head in 1860 and 1861, when the governments of the southern states proclaimed their secession from the country and formed the Confederate States of America. The American Civil War led to the defeat of the Confederacy in 1865 and the eventual readmission of the states to the United States Congress. The country's expansion beyond North America began in 1856 with the passage of the Guano Islands Act, causing many small and uninhabited, but economically important, islands in the Pacific Ocean and Caribbean Sea to be claimed. Most of these claims were eventually abandoned due to competing claims from other countries or the guano having been mined out. The Pacific expansion culminated in the overthrow of the Kingdom of Hawaii in 1893 and its annexation in 1898. Alaska, the last major acquisition in North America, was purchased from Russia in 1867. Desires for expansion into Spanish territories like Cuba led to the Spanish-American War in 1898, in which the United States gained Guam, Puerto Rico, and the Philippines, and occupied Cuba for several years. American Samoa was acquired by the United States in 1900 after the end of the Second Samoan Civil War. The United States purchased the U.S. Virgin Islands from Denmark in 1917. Guam and Puerto Rico remain territories. The Philippines became independent in 1946, after being a major theater of World War II. Following the war, many islands were entrusted to the U.S. by the United Nations, and while the Northern Mariana Islands remain a U.S. territory, the Marshall Islands, Federated States of Micronesia, and Palau emerged from the Trust Territory as independent nations. The last major international change was the acquisition in 1904, and return to Panama in 1979, of the Panama Canal Zone, a region of American sovereignty to build and run the Panama Canal. The final cession of power over the region was made to Panama in 1999. Regarding internal borders, while territories could shift wildly in size, once established states have generally retained their initial borders. Only four states, Maine, Kentucky, Vermont, and West Virginia, have been created from land claimed by another state, all of the others were created from territories or directly from acquisitions. Four states, Louisiana, Missouri, Nevada, and Pennsylvania, have expanded significantly by acquiring additional federal territory after their initial admission to the Union. The last state of the contiguous United States, commonly called the Lower 48, was admitted in 1912. The 50th and most recent state was admitted in 1959. Topic. Table of changes Key to map colors 1776–1784 American Revolutionary War 1784–1803 Organization of Territory 1803–1818 Purchase of Louisiana 1819 to 1845 Northwest expansion Topic 
1845–1860 Southwest expansion 1860–1865 American Civil War 1866–1897 Reconstruction and Western statehood 1898–1945 Pacific and Caribbean expansion 1946–present decolonization Topic. Bancos along the Rio Grande The Banco Convention of 1905 between the United States and Mexico allowed, in the event of sudden changes in the course of the Rio Grande as by flooding, for the border to be altered to follow the new course. The sudden changes often created bancos, land left behind when curves in the river are cut off by rapid erosion of the channel or are intentionally cut to realign it. When these bancos are created, the International Boundary and Water Commission investigates if land previously belonging to the United States or Mexico is to be considered on the other side of the border. In all cases of these adjustments under the 1905 Convention, which occurred on 37 different dates from 1910 to 1976, the transferred land was minuscule ranging in size from one acre to 646 acres and uninhabited. See also 51st State Geography of the United States Historic regions of the United States List of U.S. states by date of statehood Manifest destiny National Atlas of the United States Territorial evolution of U.S. states Territorial evolution of Arizona Territorial evolution of California Territorial evolution of Colorado Territorial evolution of Idaho Territorial evolution of Montana Territorial evolution of Nevada Territorial evolution of New Mexico Territorial evolution of North Dakota Territorial evolution of Oregon Territorial evolution of South Dakota Territorial evolution of Utah Territorial evolution of Washington Territorial evolution of Wyoming Territories of the United States on stamps United States territorial acquisitions Topic. Notes Topic. References Topic. Further reading Van Zant, Franklin K. 1976. Boundaries of the United States and the Several States, with miscellaneous geographic information concerning areas, altitudes, and geographic centers. Washington, D.C., U.S. Government Printing Office. OCLC 69426475. Stein, Mark. 2008. How the States Got Their Shapes. New York, Smithsonian Books, Collins. ISBN 978-0-06-143138-8. OCLC 137324984.